Welcome to this week's edition of Flashback Friday, your opportunity to get some good review by listening to episodes from the past that Jason has handpicked to help you today in the present and propel you into the future. Enjoy. Speakers, publishers, consultants, coaches, and info marketers unite. The Speaking of Wealth Show is your roadmap to success and significance. Learn the latest tools, technologies, and tactics to get more bookings, sell more products, and attract more clients. If you're looking to increase your direct response sales, create a big-time personal brand, and become the go-to guru, the Speaking of Wealth Show is for you. Here's your host, Jason Hartman. Welcome to the Speaking of Wealth show. This is your host, Jason Hartman, where we discuss profit strategies for speakers, publishers, authors, consultants, coaches, info marketers, and just go over a whole bunch of exciting things that you can use to increase your business, to make your business more successful and more and more passive and more and more automated and more and more scalable. So we will be back with a great interview. Be sure to visit us at speakingofwealth.com. You can take advantage of our blog, subscribe subscribe to the RSS feed, and many other resources for free at speakingofwealth.com. And we will be back with a great interview for you in less than 60 seconds. What's great about the shows you'll find on jasonhartman.com is that if you want to learn about investing in and managing income properties for college students, there's a show for that. If you want to learn how to get noticed online and in social media, there's a show for that. If you want to know how to save on life's largest expense, there's a show for that. And if you'd like to know about America's crime of the century, there's even a show for that. Yep, there's a show for just about anything. Only from JasonHartman.com. Or type in Jason Hartman in the iTunes store. It's my pleasure to welcome Don Osborne to the show. He is the course designer and lead trainer for Nitro Marketing, and he's going to have a lot of great things to share today about internet marketing, about getting started, about taking the step and becoming full-time at it, producing your own info products, and then changing your mindset so you can have really, really big success in the online world. Don, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jason. How are you? Fine, thanks. Great to have you on. I'm really looking forward to this and hearing more about your expertise. So what's up in your world today? Well, right now, I think um, the main thing that's up for me is I'm, I'm really working through, for myself as well as for my students, the whole, like, how do you stay productive in the face of challenges aspect of internet marketing and marketing in general. And when you say that, are you referring to the economy we happen to be facing today? Yes, as well as what goes on in our real lives on a day-by-day basis. How many times have you been to a seminar and you've been really pumped up, attended the seminar, really had a good idea, really liked it, and then you get back home fully intending to implement the stuff that you learned, but implementation never happens. Yeah, you know, Don, too many times. <laughs> I, I, more than I care <laughs> to say. <laughs> more than I care to say. Well, what can burgeoning online entrepreneurs do to overcome that? I mean, that's a great place to start. Here is what I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about this on and off for a long, long, long time. I've been to more personal development, personal growth events. I've been to more internet marketing events um, in my professional time than most people. And I can tell you that from everything that I've seen, there's a lot of stuff out there, you know, a lot of different ways. People have all kinds of different ideas about, oh, set a goal, you know, and accomplish your goal and make a list and da da da. And you know what? I really believe that the the holy grail, the one piece of all this that seems to work really, really well is you have to get out of your real life. So what do you mean by that? How do people how do people get out of their real life? If you're seriously looking at wanting to make a system that earns you money online and you want to build that system, you got to get out of your real life. you got to get up. you got to leave what you're doing. you got to go someplace else, park, and focus. And for me, that might be the library. It might be Starbucks. But of all the places that I've seen that I think work really well, the whole idea of just getting into uh, a hotel room doesn't have to be the most expensive hotel room on the planet, but getting my – getting me out of my routine and just sitting somewhere else. That's where all I have to do is wake up, get up, 
and work on the project. I've got nothing else distracting me. That, to me, works like magic. That is very powerful. When people want to get into the world of internet marketing and infopreneurship, if you will, do you recommend certain niche markets or are people that come to you for this kind of training just looking at everything or are they in particular verticals? Well, I'll tell you, here's what very commonly happens at the live events, the implementation trainings that I run. Very, very common is participants will come in and they will ask me and ask uh, the team, what is the perfect niche for me? What should I do? Where is the hot, where's people making money? What's the hot thing right now? Where's all the traffic? What's the good deal to do? And having been, done this now for several years and worked with you know, literally thousands of students, one thing I know about niche creation and about picking your niche is it's really the backwards way to go about doing it, is to try to figure out what the right niche is. It's completely backwards. Looking for the looking for perfection in what you're picking for your niche ultimately will never work. You'll never get an outcome. So what should people do instead? Start. I mean, literally, like, pick it up and go, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to start in the blank niche. I'm just going to pick one and go for it. It doesn't really matter which one. This is not my last niche on the planet. It's not the niche that's going to make me millions and millions of dollars. It's the niche that's going to give me the experience that I need to get over the whole, what should I be doing step. Right, exactly. And I agree with you, Don. That's what I say to people all the time. You learn by doing. There is wisdom. There is massive wisdom just in taking action. I'm a big believer in that, is that you just jump in and start doing things, and the learning takes care of itself. The opportunities arise. The senses are more attuned at seeing opportunities, maybe for that right niche. Instead of sitting back in an analytical fashion and trying to say, well, this is really underserved or this is popular and I should be there. Couldn't agree more with what you're saying. You know, there's a, there's a big however in all this. And the big however is, okay, well, I'm going to pick any niche but I'm, and I'm going to start. However, I got to start perfect. That's the problem. We got to get out of the whole how do I do it right piece? And wherever you're at, as you know, you know, anytime you solve a problem, the solution by definition creates a new problem. And every time I, I'm faced with a new problem, the very first thing I ask myself is, how do I solve this problem perfectly? It's just a never-ending spiral. And that's why you know, I jokingly call my events that I teach, um, I call them perfectionism rehab. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> rehab for perfectionists. I like it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, because we're all, we're all stuck in the perfectionism place. Right, right. Yeah, we Do you remember, it wasn't that long ago, right, when you were a little kid and you were playing outside? You ever seen little kids go play outside? Yeah, they just jump in and do it. They don't think about it. They do not criticize themselves for not being on the swing set perfectly. We just don't do that. As little kids, we just don't evaluate. We're all about the journey, the experience. We're all about getting the feedback of, okay, if I try this, what happens? I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot and see if I can pump my legs and make the swing work, and then I'll adjust what I do based upon the feedback that I get. That's how we learn. That's how we have enjoyment. That's how we feel fulfilled. It's everything. Feedback is everything. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more on the mindset and, and that kind of thing, and, and, and using that feedback to constantly tune our course and so forth. A excellent advice. Talk to us, if you would, Don, about some of the specific steps an infopreneur takes from start to, to middle to success. Okay. Step number one, are you building a system or are you building a mess? The vast majority of people are building a mess. Here's how you know it's a mess. It's a mess if you do not have a clear and singular path for your customers. Have you ever gone to Ikea and gone shopping? Yes, and they have a path all around the store. <laughs> it's very well, it's perfect. a good analogy. It's perfect. Yeah. Because first you're going to see our display. It's a beautiful display, absolutely perfectly implemented. You've got a complete visual image of what this is going to look like when it's all put together, and you have no choice but to go look at it first. Before we show you any inventory at all, you're going to see what a good one looks like, period, in the story. If you don't know what the path that your customers are going to be taking with you is, your customers have absolutely no idea what the path should be, and so guess what happens? You get into a fight about price, and that's all customers know how to do is to argue about price. So if you don't have a path, the customer certainly does, and the path is you're too expensive, 
I don't want to buy from you. I'm going away. So, Don, I definitely see the problem when you say that of, of not being systematized. But what should the system be? Here you go. And if you have a pen, I would grab a pen and a piece of paper right now, and I would write this down. I would tape it somewhere permanent in your life. Number one, traffic. Number two, relationship. Number three, first sale. Number four, more sales. I'll say it again. Number one, traffic generation. Number two, relationship management, relationship creation. Number three, make a sale. Number four, make more sales. That's the system. That's a nice, simple four-step system. It makes perfect sense. So, so traffic, there do you get into search engine marketing, social networking, pay-per-click, offline advertising to generate traffic? Tell us about traffic, if you would. Yeah, step number one in traffic is to pick one traffic methodology and learn it. Just pick one and learn it and then do it. For example, you can pick search engine optimization on your blog post. And you can learn to understand how a keyword relates to a search engine result page, how that relates to a browser, uh, an individual who's searching for a solution or searching for help with a problem is driven to your website, how they arrive at your site, and how you can monitor that and understand where your prospective customers have come from. So when you, you, you picked search engine marketing as an example, but I just want to ask you, is that your favorite first choice? Yep, absolutely. Be- because you said pick one and learn it. So you're really a fan of the organic type of marketing then, right? Uh, I'm a big fan of no resistance. I'm a big fan of helping my students do something, anything, as opposed to analyze and research everything. So if, if you prefer social media, you want to do Facebook, and that really turns you on, that gives you some motivation, and so you'll actually sit down and do it, then Facebook is the number one way. If you, if you love so, search engine optimization because you know in your heart of hearts that literally hundreds of millions of people are into Google and the other search engines on a day-in, day-out basis, and you just are so hungry to step in front of some of that traffic, then do search and up search engine optimization. Whichever one you pick will absolutely 100% work because you're picking only one and you're getting good at it. Good. So focus, clarity. That's that's great. It removes a lot of the distraction. All right. So one thing on traffic and the favorite in your eyes is search engine marketing. Good. What about relationships? I mean, you're saying have a system to create and manage them? Absolutely, without any question in my mind. How does one do that? If you don't establish a relationship with your prospective customer, they will not have a relationship with you, and therefore they have no interest in you. And how do you do that? Is that through email newsletters, or is it something more than staying in touch type of thing? You know, I'm not a big fan of the word newsletter, so let me use my favorite word, which would be email autoresponder sequence instead. So I'm writing blog posts based upon a keyword that I've just decided is a good keyword. That Writing those blog posts makes those blog posts show up in search engines. Uh, my prospective customers are looking for the same keyword that I'm writing about, so they now find my blog posts because they're looking. That takes them to my website. They read my blog posts. Because they like my content, because my content is so relevant, they then decide to opt in to my email list. And now I can begin the relationship management, relationship creation process. I can email out meaningful content to them, as well as explain to them my motivation, my purpose, my story. I can be vulnerable. I can be who I really am and serve my readership in such a way that they get a win, they get a big result, and that will cause them to trust and like and then ultimately love me, and now I have a relationship. And you're referring here to relationships with customers and potential customers. Any thoughts on on relationships with, when you said that, my mind instantly, I don't know why, it went to kind of like joint ventures and affiliates and and that sort of thing. Any thoughts on on those? I think moving forward, joint ventures and affiliates are going to want at least some measure of reciprocation. There are exceptions to this, but for the bread and butter affiliate relationship, you're going to want to come to that opportunity with some assets, some resources to share. And the number one resource to share, of course, is going to be your list. So if I don't have a list yet, then affiliate relationship development is not as critical as getting a list. So how do we get a list then? 
First thing, start writing blog posts based upon a keyword or a set of keywords that you know are going to be a good win for your niche. Write about those, attract that traffic, drive people to your website, they will opt into your list, and you will generate your own list. Once you have a list, it doesn't have to be a quarter million people, once you have a list that you know is substantial, and substantial varies from marketplace to marketplace, then you can begin to go to other affiliates, other joint venture partners, and offer to cross-promote, and now you can really accelerate the creation of your list. So the list is the thing of value in the affiliate relationships. Makes a lot of sense to me. Any other types of relationships info marketers and online marketers should be thinking of? Affiliates, customers, obviously. Anybody else? Probably a good uh, 60, 70, 80% of the people on your list are non-buyers. So they have a problem that you touched, but the solution that you proposed didn't work for them somehow. So that's another very big opportunity for you in terms of a, of a real meaningful relationship that serves them, I mean, really, truly serves them, you get to go t- back to them via email and say, hey, look, my particular solution didn't work for you, so I'm obviously missing something. What is it that you really need? And then help them by going, again, through an affiliate relationship, finding an affiliate product that um, you believe will fulfill the, solve the problem that they're having and then deliver it to them. So then comes the time to make sales. Well, really the first mm-hmm. sale, right? <laughs> the first sale, that first dollar. So here I am. I have started to generate some traffic. I've got some leads. Um, I have some people who have opted into my list. And now I can go out, find affiliate products that I know fit my niche. And I can offer those affiliate products directly to my list. I don't need permission from you know, the person who created the product because his affiliate program or her affiliate program automatically gives me permission. I sign up as an affiliate, and I just start to promote his or her product, and I can make my first dollar, and I can do that relatively quickly in days or perhaps weeks, depending on the niche and depending on how successful your traffic generation strategy uh, has become. So it can happen very quickly. So that's in terms of the affiliate marketing stuff. So now we've got our first sale, and we're excited. We've sort of proven the concept, if you will. We see that this really works. How do we make it big? The making it big piece is like... Uh, some aspect of the holy grail of internet marketing. As you know, in affiliate marketing, when I am an affiliate for you, you know, you're the creator of the product, and I am the affiliate, and let's say, you know, I get, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50% of the sale. That's a nice percentage. Say on a $100 sale, maybe I make, you know, 25 to 50 bucks. That's pretty good. If I am the owner of the product, and I now can go out and I can sell my product to my customers, I have two very powerful outcomes that are different from affiliate marketing. The first outcome is that when I make a $100 sale to my own list, I get to keep $100. And in my world, $100 is better than 25 The second thing I can do is this. Because I am the product owner, I can now offer my product up to other people within my niche as an affiliate product for them. So instead of me selling your product, now you are selling my product. Here's where that becomes extremely powerful. What happens if I don't just have one affiliate or I don't just have two affiliates, I don't have three affiliates? What happens when I have 3,000 affiliates? Really good things start to happen, but how do you get the 3,000 affiliates? Ah, it's a great question. So how you get the 3,000 affiliates is by having a product and a sales system that is highly successful, that you have a proven record that will convert. It's a very easy conversation to have. If I have a sales letter that I know you send traffic to or I send traffic to, and 20 to 25% of that traffic buys the product, I can call up any stranger in my niche and say, hey, I've got a product might be interested in. I want to send you a free sample of it. Oh, and by the way, my conversion is 25%. They're going to jump on the product. Because it's a, it's a good bet. Not only does it serve their customers, I mean, really meaningfully help their customers, it also means some pretty fast cash for the affiliate. Sure. But how do we prove that concept at that 25% conversion rate? I mean, that's, uh, ah, you know, that, that's really the holy grail of it. How you, you know, prove the, yeah. how you, exactly. How you prove the concept is really straightforward. You have the product that you've created and your own sales center, and you advertise your product to your own list, and you, you test evaluate how your list converts to your own product. Once you have that figured out, 
then you're able to go out and you can identify one or two affiliates and say, hey, here's how it's converted for me in my list. Let's see how it converts for you in yours. Begin to build the experience. You'll notice there's a pattern here, and that pattern is one of let's go test and get a result. Let's go try something and get some feedback. It's all about the feedback. It's all about the feedback. Let me take a brief pause. We'll be back in just a minute. I've never really thought of Jason as subversive, but I just found out that's what Wall Street considers him to be. Really? Now, how is that possible at all? Simple. Wall Street believes that real estate investors are dangerous to their schemes because the dirty truth about income property is that it actually works in real life. I know. I mean, how many people do you know, not including insiders, who created wealth with stocks, bonds, and mutual funds? Those options are for people who only want to pretend they're getting ahead. Stocks and other non-direct traded assets are a losing game for most people. The typical scenario is you make a little, you lose a little, and spin your wheels for decades. That's because the corporate crooks running the stock and bond investing game will always see to it that they win. This means, unless you're one of them, you will not win. And unluckily for Wall Street, Jason has a unique ability to make the everyday person understand investing the way it should be. He shows them a world where anything less than a 26% annual return is disappointing. Yep, and that's why Jason offers a one-book set on creating wealth that comes with 20 digital download audios. He shows us how we can be excited about these scary times and exploit the incredible opportunities this present economy has afforded us. We can pick local markets untouched by the economic downturn, exploit packaged commodities investing, and achieve exceptional returns safely and securely. I like how he teaches you how to protect the equity in your home before it disappears and how to outsource your debt obligations to the government. And this set of advanced strategies for wealth creation is being offered for only $197. To get your Creating Wealth Encyclopedia Book 1, complete with over 20 hours of audio, go to jasonhartman.com forward slash store. If you want to be able to sit back and collect checks every month just like a banker, Jason's Creating Wealth Encyclopedia series is for you. Well, I like this four-step process a lot because it really removes a lot of the clutter and a lot of the junk and a lot of the, just the massive distractions we all face as internet marketers. But with these four steps, I mean, it's interesting in concept, and you definitely laid it out nicely, but can you share any stories or case studies, if you will, of maybe some of your students and what they did? Because I think a lot of the listeners might be really wondering, well, give me an example of a product. What product did someone do this with, and how did it work for them? Sure, no problem. So um, one of the niches that I work in is college admissions and specifically in graduate school admissions. And so I have a product called Personal Statement Secrets. As you know, when you have to go to grad school, you've got to write an essay in your application. That's a problem for a lot of college students. So I created a product which helps college students write their personal statement for medical school in this case. And that's a information product that just sort of teaches them maybe like find out what's unique about them or the angle they should pursue in the essay or, or, or what? Exactly. It's got a template that they fill out and it's got some example personal statements with some annotation that I've done that says, here's why this personal statement is good. Here's why this personal statement is not so good. So I uh, advertised that product to my list, you know, and made uh, 40, 50 sales in a matter of three or four days. Very, very simple to do, very easy to do. And for me, that was uh, over a three or four day period, it was you know, $3,000, $4,000 of revenue that otherwise I would not have seen. In my opinion, there are many, many, many people out there who can do the exact same thing. They have either some enthusiasm about a particular area or they have some expertise in their particular niche, in their particular profession, and they can summarize that expertise and deliver that very, very affordably. So that's the first example. And what kind of numbers have you been able to achieve? If you, I mean, you don't have to share them if you, if you don't want. Maybe you can just talk generally, but just thought I'd ask. Yeah, no problem. I mean, for the, the graduate school admissions niche, for the medical school admissions aspect, through Internet marketing, I have increased my own income incrementally by over $200,000 a year. 
There's another example I can give you, a gentleman by the name of Brent Abel. Uh, his website is webtennis.com, webtennis.com. Brent uses this exact same methodology. Uh, his traffic strategy of choice is YouTube videos that drives traffic back to his blog, his website. He sells $37 videos that you can download about different aspects of tennis. How do you serve? How do you hit a forehand? How do you hit a backhand? How do you hit a forehand when you want to step closer to the net? How do you hit a backhand when your opponent is giving you a bad time with a certain kind of spin? How do you do a top spin serve? When you come to net, what kind of volley should you use? What does it look like and why? $37 download. Um, if you want to buy a physical desk, he charges you $10 more. And how many is he selling? This looks pretty good. I'm looking at his site now. Yeah, it's a beautiful site, yes? Yeah, it does the job definitely. Oh, what would you guess? You know, the tennis niche. It's not that big anymore. What do you think he's making a year? You think he's making, you know, 50, 60 grand? I, I don't know. Golf is the big thing now. It's unfortunately, I, and I love tennis, unfortunately golf has kind of taken over in the past okay. uh, couple well, of decades. I, I think that's all myth, right? I mean, golf has only taken, taken over for golfers. Right, well, <laughs> true, fair enough. So I, I don't know, is he 150000 a year? I don't know. Uh, he's got a quarter million dollars a year that he's doing. Wow. And guess what he sells on the back end of this? Guess what his upsell is, his big ticket item? It's a tennis camp, I bet. He's got no back end. Nothing. Nothing. It's just a video. That's it. Quarter million dollars a year on thirty-seven dollar videos. Wow. Wow. Everybody can do this. That's amazing. That's really exciting. That's right. That's that is in the realm of oh my god, amazing. You got to be kidding me, really? It's a fantastic story. So that means he's selling. Well, he's selling almost seven thousand videos a year. Yeah, and they're just downloads. It's go. all digital. That's great. Awesome. What do you think? And all honestly, if you sat down with him knowing what you know about internet marketing, and you worked through with him a little bit of a funnel and helped him understand what his back-end sales could be. You know, let's say maybe you, know, we, you and I put together a $250 back-end product or a $400 back-end product for him, Jason. How much do you think he could make a year on this back-end? Oh, he'd have a huge upsell opportunity there. That'd be great. Like how much? Well, if he converts, say he converts 20% of the buyers of the main video and say he's got a $300 back-end, and what's he going to do? Maybe 1,500 people, $300. That's another four hundred and fifty grand. Amazing. Okay, that he's leaving on the table every year, and you know why he's not chasing after it? How come? He's comfortable. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I live in Northern California. I got a beautiful home. My next door neighbor has a private tennis court that he lets me use for free whenever I want to. I travel the world with my my wife, and we we travel all over the world. We do as much travel as we want. We go everywhere we want to go. We have a great life. I don't need to do anymore. Well, that's a that's a fantastic place to be. It really is. Isn't that cool? I love that. Yeah, very cool. Very cool story. You got one more before we go? How about this one? How about a gentleman who basically, I mean, he, by his own words, he said he was pretty much destitute. Uh, he would live on uh, macaroni and he would live on top ramen. He had a $900 a month apartment and his big dream, his big vision in his world was to upgrade to the apartments across the street because they were better quality apartments and they were twelve hundred dollars. Oh, okay, so yeah. so a three hundred dollar increase in rent. Yeah, in that apartment, I would be so happy. This guy, you know, he had uh, his favorite car, his only car, which was at the time he was driving it was twenty years old, and uh, he talks about it as being two colors, blue and rust. This guy, he was. Chugging along, trying to put together, you know, this and that for internet marketing, struggling, struggling, struggling. And one day he basically he had a car accident and realized that he had no way to fix his car. He was out of credit. He had no more credit left on his credit cards. He had nothing and he was absolutely stuck. Fortunately, the accident wasn't his fault. He got an insurance settlement for like a thousand dollars. So he had basically enough money for one more month and then he was going to have to go back home and live in, with mom and dad. This guy worked his butt off put together uh, an info product that he thought, okay, this is my last shot. He's been trying it and trying it and trying it. In six weeks, he made over $100,000 with an info product on basically how to generate traffic using pay-per-click. That was his info product, nothing particularly miraculous. Made hundred grand on it uh, using, that's right, pay-per-click to drive his traffic to his list, uh, to his product, and got himself out of his situation. This guy has gone on to make over $20 million in info products, and is on a pair to do a ton more, and this guy's name is Kevin Wilkie.
He's the owner of Nitro Marketing. Fantastic. What a story. Those are awesome stories. Very inspiring. You've talked about the money, but you didn't even mention the kind of freedom it allows people in terms of, well, you did with the tennis person. But I mean, it's just a fantastic freedom opportunity because you can do it from anywhere on the planet. Just uh, it's a fantastic business. It really is. Every solution creates a new problem. Once you're free from money worries, then you start to, to get into much, much more fun, fun conversations about what do I really want to contribute? You know, before I breathe my last breath, what difference do I really want to make? You know, most people on the planet, and it, it's, I think it's very, very unfortunate, it's really tragic, most people on this planet never give themselves permission to get out of the money worry. And as a result, they never get to go and really test or really stretch uh, and discover what their potential really is. And it's, com- it's completely unnecessary because everybody, everybody, everybody can make a system like this. And the reason why that's true is because the Internet has basically democratized the access to customers. Everybody has access to customers now and no longer costs a lot of money. It can be done for free or nearly for free. And I've seen it happen over and over and over and over again. Well, what would you like people to know in closing? I mean, you've certainly provided some good methodology, some good outline, keep it simple, I love that, some good examples. How would you wrap it all up for people? And and please give out your website as well. Sure. So website is everydayentrepreneurlive.com. That's everydayentrepreneurlive.com. And what I want really want people to know, I think, number one, more important than anything else, is the thing that is stopping you is exactly the thing in between your left ear and your right ear. What's stopping you is a lack of experience. What's stopping you is, I've never done this before, I don't know if it's going to work, I don't know if it's going to be okay. What's stopping you is you have not taken a step forward, so you've got not gotten any feedback, and so therefore you're arrested, you're, you're worried, you're confused. You're like, oh, I'm not sure this will work, I'm not sure this is a good idea. You want to get out of that? It's easy. All you do to get out of it is this. You simply start. You simply start, and you just tell yourself, okay, screw it. I don't care what kind of my, what my outcome is going to be. It doesn't matter to me whatsoever the outcome. I'm just going to give it a shot and see what happens, and then monitor very carefully. Just monitor your progress step by step. Give yourself permission to see just what's around the, not very end of all this, but just what's around the first corner. What's around the first corner? What is, what's going to happen when you actually – you finished all the ramp up stuff and you're no longer having to struggle with what your website looks like because it's up and running. And now you can start actually doing the real meaningful stuff of relationship marketing. Right. And you can really get involved with your customers. Now we're talking. Excellent. Well, d- uh, tell us just quickly before we go about your live programs and you have a special offer, I believe, for our listeners too. I do. Yes, absolutely. So um, at Everyday Entrepreneur Live, we have a three day event where we do something dramatically different than any seminar I've ever been to or uh, you know, ever seen, both inside the internet marketing niche as well as outside. And here's what we do. We do a three-day implementation of your online business. You come to us, you sit down, you bring your hopes and your dreams, and our mission is to empower you to fulfill those live in the room so that you have a, a completed website and a set of instructions so you know exactly, precisely what to do next. No ambiguity. You just follow the bouncing ball. You can build a fully functional uh, relationship marketing instrument. You can drive traffic to it, and you can do it with us in three days. It doesn't have to take months. and doesn't have to be hard. And where is that available, and how much does it cost? We run this event all over the country. Typical locations would be Los Angeles, Dallas, Atlanta, and somewhere on the eastern seaboard, either New Jersey or Florida somewhere. And the price uh, of this event, if you go to everydayentrepreneurlive.com, you'll find uh, the price there as $1,295. And I know this special offer is pretty phenomenal, so we're going to set up a special link for it, and we'll put that on the Speaking of Wealth site. Why don't we just call that Speaking of Wealth slash Offers, and what is that going to be? Because I know it's pretty phenomenal, a very exciting offer. Yes, and you know, we got on the phone beforehand and, and essentially... You know, you were asking me, you know, very specific questions like, Don, what are you going to give the listeners? And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, for you guys only, I'm going to reduce the price of uh, Everyday Entrepreneur Live from $1,295 to only $97 if you use the link 
where Jason uh, has suggested that you go. So that's speakingofwealth.com slash offers, speakingofwealth.com slash offers. So excellent. Well, good stuff. Thank you so much for that special offer, by the way. That is a phenomenal offer. So our listeners very much appreciate that. And you have the events regularly, so they can go ahead and check out the details on the link at speakingofwealth.com slash offers, and we will make it happen. Thank you so much for joining us today, Don. Appreciate it. My great pleasure. Have an amazing, amazing day. You too. Keep up the good work out there. Jason offers an inner circle coaching program. This includes two 30-minute coaching sessions for only $247 a month. For more details, go to jasonhartman.com. Copyright the Hartman Media Company. For publication rights and interviews, please email media at jasonhartman.com. This show offers very general information. Opinions of guests are their own. Nothing contained herein should be considered personalized, personal, financial, investment, legal, or tax advice. Every investor's strategy and goals are unique. You should consult with a licensed real estate broker or agent or other licensed investment, tax, and or legal advisor before relying on any information contained herein. Information is not guaranteed. Please call 714-820-4200 and visit www.jasonhartman.com for additional disclaimers, disclosures, and questions.